All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 89. All right. So we're going to remember that document.query selector all returns a node list, which is an array like object, but it's not an array. However, the array object has a from method that accepts an array like object and returns an array, right? And this is helpful when we want to access, pardon me, when we want access to more robust array methods, which we will learn about in a future project. All right. So we're going to go check out array.from uh, because this is actually very versatile right here. Uh, we can do all kinds of stuff with array.from. So let's go over here and we just say array.from JavaScript and right here at the top array.from. Uh, and we'll see the array.from static method creates a new shallow copied array instance from an iterable or array like object. And this is why I say array like object because the big boys over at MDM say it, all right? And I feel like I'm a big boy too, all right? So let's go over this. So we'll do something like array.from, it's gonna be different than what we're doing over here, but we can do like array.from foo, and we'll say uh, it'll change this string up to foo like that. And then we can also do array.from, we'd have like a uh, array right here, and then we can do a map method, and this is just, this is just to get us um, familiar with it right now. Uh, this is the map method, which will, pardon me, which will have like X, and then this is an arrow function. So anyway, it's hard to explain that. Uh, and then X plus X. So X is going to be each one of these uh, elements in order. So we'll at first we'll do X plus X. So it'll be one plus one, which is going to be two. And then it'll do, then it'll put the two in there. And it'll go two plus two, this two right here, which is going to be four. And then it'll put the three in there, which will be three plus three, which is going to be six. When we run it, we see it does it right there, right? And we're going to get into map uh, functions later. Guaranteed, this is actually pretty, uh, pretty effective method. But just, uh, <laughs> you know, just, just it's just to get it familiar right now. Pardon me. And another thing about this, if we come way down here, we can also put... Uh, this object right here, which is an array like object, it just says link five and it's going to have basically it's going to put uh, it's going to make an array with five empty elements. And then this is going to be like V with I, which is this is this is going to be the element and this is going to be the index. And it's going to say uh, put the index in there. So there's not going to be a V. There's only going to be an I. So it goes index zero, one, two, three, four. Right. And so it just fills up this five length array with the indexes in it. And that's just an example. There's a ton of different uh, ways to use this stuff, right? So let's just come back over here. Uh, we're gonna wrap our input containers query selector in array.from, and we're gonna do this on the same line as our declaration, right? So basically all we're gonna do is we're just gonna get this right here. We're gonna wrap it up all the way to the semicolon, but not with the semicolon. Then we'll put the parentheses around it, and we'll say array.from, array.from in front of it, all right? So let's open up the console, come down here and do uh, console.log, console.log, input containers, all right? And then if we say, we run clear form, clear form like this, like this, we can see it makes five, an, an array with five uh, objects, empty objects in there. One, two, three, four, five. So these five things is what this is, all right? And since there's nothing in there right now, uh, it's gonna do that, all right? So let's check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 90, and we'll see you next time.